let's talk Fatui. <clears throat> Excuse me. I mean, let's talk Fatui. Fatui. Fatui stands for first time user experience. And it basically refers to the first time that your player encounters anything. Often you see it used specifically with regards to the beginning of the game or in the case of free to play titles, their first interaction with the economy. But really conceptually, this is something that you should be thinking about in regards to all things. Because a player's first experience with a system System, with an item, with a story, is going to set their expectations for how that's going to work for the rest of the game. If the first time they walk up to a chest, that chest is not interactive, then you've taught them something. You've taught them that chests aren't interactive, or at least chests that look like this aren't. And that may not be the experience that you're hoping to teach them. You need to think about the way you introduce concepts and systems for everything. Often when we're designing a system, it's easy to not think about that first interaction with the system. Instead, we often think about the way the system is going to feel when it's at the peak of its operation. So you don't often imagine how it's going to feel to craft a crappy sword at level one. You're thinking about how awesome it's going to feel to craft a sword at level 60. But a lot of players are never going to make it to level 60. So actually, that first experience matters way more than that late game experience. Bioware games have had a history of less than spectacularly paced tutorial levels. Some of them dump 30 or 40 concepts on you in the first three or four minutes and also all the world building exposition all at once. So as a Fatui, that's not great because you're overwhelming the player with lots of systems and rules to remember about how the game works, but also trying to lay the foundation of your story. RPGs where you create your own character have a unique problem set when it comes to that first experience because you kind of have two choices. Either you create your character before you've been tutorialized on the game, requiring a lot of additional text or the player making choices about things they don't yet understand, or you delay character creation through some means, but then you run the risk of setting expectation wrong about how much freedom and player agency there's going to be about the character. Dragon Age 2 tries to do this, tries to get you into to the game faster with Varric's exaggerated bit at the very beginning of the game. I really like it. I think it gets the action going soon, but it is a controversial introduction to a game. Ideally, you want to lay out some sort of timeline where you can look at where systems are introduced as well as where your key concepts from a storytelling perspective are introduced and make sure that you're not piling things on top of each other too much. But this isn't just about the timing of things. It's also about setting that initial expectation. One reason why you see this a lot in free-to-play is because free-to-play games that are tuned for retention often cheat a little bit in their fatui around their pack mechanic. Because if the first time you open up a card pack, you get a bunch of garbage, then that sets expectations there as well. You want the player to to get that endorphin hit of getting something good in the pack because that's how you set that hook for them to buy packs in the future. But this isn't just about monetization. This is about all your systems. You want that first experience to be representative of the way the system works, but also better in a way, as if it's the platonic ideal of what the player's emotional state should be when they're interacting with the system. If you want them to hunt around the world looking for interactive objects, then early, early in the game, you want there to be a hidden interactive object that's very easy to find and contains a big reward because that set initial first time experience to be very positive and set that expectation that this is going to be worth their while. If you want players to hunt around in the investigate hubs in conversation, then you want there to be useful information in there that they can 
use pretty quickly after they get it. If you want them to not leave the path, then you need to have something early in the game that discourages that, that pushes them back towards the path. You may not need that ever again because that initial expectation setting might be all you need to get most people to stay on the path. So Fatui isn't just about tutorialization. It's about the entire package. And you can look at it from the perspective of a single feature. You can look at it from the perspective of a single level. And you can look at it from the perspective of the entire game. And you should look at it from all of these perspectives because each new system, each new level is a new first experience. But the most important first time user experience that you can have is that first few minutes of their interaction with your game. Okay, here at the end, I'm gonna layer two other concepts on top of Fatui. And I don't have proper names for these things. Maybe a experienced designer can yell at me in the comments if there are proper names, but I'm gonna call them the Nutui and the Lutui. Nutui stands for nth time user experience. That refers to the experience of a system in the middle of the player's interaction with it. Some systems have great Fatuis. They're super fun in the beginning, but then enter into this awful slog in the middle where all the fun drains out of the game. This is actually the downfall of a lot of unsuccessful free-to-play games. It gets you started and then all the fun drains out of them. Lutui is specific really only to the very last experiences with a system. So once you've exhausted all of the chests in a game, how do you close that system down? Now some systems have no end. They just enter into that Natui state and never ever finish. But some do. Some you exhaust them. Do you tell the player that they've exhausted it? Do you shut the system down in some way? How do you finish the player's experience with the system? These are not as important as your Fatui, obviously, because some people are never going to encounter either of those things, but they are worth keeping in mind when you are designing a system. You can overcorrect for the Fatui and end up with a system that has a boring middle or an unsatisfying end. So hopefully this was enlightening about one of the funnier acronyms in video games and software development, but also surprisingly one of the more often overlooked aspects of video game development and software development. So remember to consider how your player is going to interact with a system or a story or the game itself the first time they encounter it because you never get to make another first impression and the pacing, reward, and information density of this moment is critical to their long-term enjoyment of whatever they're encountering. If you found this useful or entertaining, please give this a thumbs up and share it with someone else. I will see you again soon. Thank you.